Hello everybody, this is Brayden for Mac for Everyone, and um, this is how to get Call of Duty 5 on your Mac. I already did a video on how to get Call of Duty 4, which I really hope helped everybody out, for everybody who wanted it. So I'm going to show you how to get Call of Duty 5, World at War. So, just a couple of things about this. Um, sorry, stupid phone. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, the things about this, multiplayer doesn't work. Um, single player is a little bit laggy because they had to, um, port it from... PC, Windows, so of course it's going to be a little bit laggy, but it's still playable, very fun. I wish multiplayer worked, but it doesn't unless you have um, Modern Warfare 2 wrappers, whichever, whatever those are, I haven't figured it out yet. But yeah, so this is how to get it. Um, again, this involves torrents. First one you want to download is Stuff It, which I'm going to put, or you can buy it, which is a good idea. Um, there's a torrent right here, about from it, it's very safe, I got it. Uh, it's in my new term. I'll put a link to that in the description. So you have to get this. That's to extract it. Because when you download Call of Duty 5, this is the torrent. I'll put this in the description as well. It's safe as well. Then you download this one. I'm just going to download this and open up my new torrent. It's right here. Call of Duty 5. Call of World at War. So I'm going to open that up. And it gives you this. RAR. Dot RAR. It's like World at War. Dot app. Dot RAR. So that there's an application in that. If you use Stuff It, which I already did, to get this, um, you need to use Stuff It, like the Unarchiver and stuff, 7-Zip, um, UnrarX, those don't work. I'm not completely sure why, but they don't. So, once you get Stuff It, they'll be, you'll have to go through instructions and stuff, get the Stuff It Expander, drag it to your dock, then when you're done, download Call of Duty World at War, you can open that up, okay, and it'll give you that, you can drag that right into stuff expander and then you can um so you can uh, put it wherever you want I already extracted it to my applications folder which is the best place to put it because that's where you're going to be getting it from applications and it's right oh man I hate looking through my applications I'm sorry um you know what I don't think it's in here anymore I really should have looked where'd I go Here it is. Yeah, Call of Duty. Well, this this pops up and this pops up. Okay. Um, you can just take this and you can drag it. Well, it'll be in the application, so you can just drag it from right. It'll, it'll like appear up here, right here somewhere. Like, there'll be a box. Then you can drag it from there into your dock, and then it goes into your dock, and it should have a circle just like this. It should just be like this. But multiplayer, like I said, doesn't work. This is actually a really easy way to get this because it's just downloading and stuff, but you need to use stuff it. Some ATI graphic cards don't work. It ne your computer needs to be an Intel integrated chipset. Um, NVIDIA, um, sorry, uh, video cards all work. They all work for it. As long as you do this right, you use stuff it and then extract it and then drag it into your, yeah, drag it into here. Into your, in, somewhere into your dock. I would load it up, but it gets really laggy, period. And with um, the screen flow going, it would just be ridiculously slow. So I'm just going to leave it at this. It does work. Oh, I can like I, I know for a fact it works. I was just playing Nazi Zombies yesterday, which is amazing. Don't update, because that'll corrupt a lot of the stuff in it. Don't do anything other than what you know how to do. Yeah. All right. Hope that helped. Um wasn't that big of a tutorial at all. It was just showing stuff. I'll put the links in the description and stuff. And subscribe. Thanks.